below there. You know, something I like to think about is how society has been formed today. More specifically, the Industrial Revolution and its consequences. But something I think about in particular is a specific invention created from the Industrial Revolution. I think that it sparks creativity, innovation, anything you could imagine actually. But I think I can, I can use this tool pretty extremely. Everybody knows that when you're vacuuming your stairs, you can't just vacuum them normally like it's the floor. You gotta add some spice to it. So this technique that I'm about to show you really adds mobility to your vacuuming and makes it a more enjoyable experience if I'm being honest with you. So, first thing you do, get on top of your stairs and make sure the vacuum is plugged in. That would be humiliating if it wasn't. And you turn it on like so and then you are just gonna kind of let yourself fly in the air like an eagle piloting a blimp, if you know what I mean. So, let me show you how it's done. And then you can go back up if you want to. Lot more interesting than just regular old vacuuming, wouldn't you say? We're now at a lower angle to demonstrate the lunge or the dive. It's more like a lunge, but if you want to make it more fun, you can call it a dive. So what we're going to be doing is taking this part off and using one of the attachments. I like to call this one the getting in the corners thing. And Essentially what we're going to do is you're going to pick whatever corner you need to get the edges on and lunge into it. It's a lot more fast and efficient than just kneeling down and doing it. So let me demonstrate how exactly the lunge is done. So when I'm not vacuuming extremely, a big issue that I run into is there are a lot of obstacles in my way and I have to move them just so I can vacuum a certain area. Now that's preposterous. What I propose is we ignore these obstacles, we go over them like they're nothing. And especially in this part, the core control really comes in handy. You got to make sure you're holding it or you might trip on it and that is not very extreme. So what we're going to do is vault over this. This area will get vacuumed efficiently. All is good, all is dandy, all is fine and dandy, just like the Industrial Revolution. So make sure your cord is firmly grasped and then you're just going to vault over the obstacle like it's nothing. So let me, let me show you how it's done. things I love most about the vacuum is the aftermath. Now, unlike old reliable behind me, some vacuums put their garbage into water instead of just right there. But one thing I figured out over my many years is that the vacuum water is actually very nutritious. Just think of all that nutritious buildup over the years. So the thing I like to do is get a little straw and dig in. Observe. Ugh. Oh, man, what happened? I don't even know, but what I do know is that the vacuuming must continue. Now you might be asking me, Sierra, why haven't you vacuumed the ceiling yet? How am I supposed to vacuum the ceiling extremely if you give me nothing? 
And to that I say, just wait a dang minute. I'm getting to it. So, you need to vacuum your ceiling so extremely or it just won't get clean. So, so first thing you do is uh, get more upper arm strength. I do not have that. So this is probably effortless to many others, but it took me, it took me a very long time. Definitely took me more than five minutes. So you just have to hoist it up like so. And you also got to get taller because I'm not tall enough to hit the ceiling. Or as far as you know, I'm definitely tall enough to vacuum the ceiling, but you can't just vacuum it normally. You have, you have to, you have to put energy into it. The way to make it extreme is putting energy into it, going crazy. Because if you don't, the ceiling will be nasty, and we do not want that. So, let me demonstrate for you. As I sit here with the whirring of a vacuum behind me, I like to reflect over my years of extreme vacuuming. And many have criticized me for it. And many have told me, what are you doing? Why, why are you trying this? And the thing that I've learned is that when you come up with an innovative idea, there are gonna be many people who are gonna to try to bring you down. And to that I say, look how successful extreme vacuuming is. You get to clean the ceiling and the floor, don't have to move furniture, and you get a little little beverage afterwards, if you know what I mean. What will sharing the art of extreme vacuuming to even more people do to society itself? Is society going to collapse? Is it going to improve? I can only hope that extreme vacuuming will change the world. And I'm glad that you could join me as I showed you how to vacuum extremely. Mm -hmm.